Hear more, listen to the podcast. Just search for Hancock and Kelly. It's been another week of good legal news, bad legal news for former President Trump and the 2024 presumptive Republican presidential nominee. He continues to blame President Biden for all of his legal woes. Every single one of them is run by Biden and his thugs. It's the only way they think they can get elected. And I think so far it's backfiring because the people of this country understand it. It's backfiring. Mr. Trump and his co-defendants were initially ordered to pay $464 million in a New York civil fraud case. An appeals court says they must now put up just $175 million as bond as they appeal that initial judgment. However, the judge in the so-called Trump money or hush money Trump case centered around Mr. Trump's alleged extramarital affair with porn star Stormy Daniels set a trial date for April 15th in that one. That's just two weeks from tomorrow. Michael, is Donald Trump right? Are all of these legal cases backfiring? And, you know, he's pushing ahead in the polls now, President Biden. Well, two things. Number one, I thought his case was that Joe Biden is too senile, too old to be president of the United States. Then at the same time, if you listen to most of his other arguments, he's organizing this, uh, you know, invasion at the southern border. He's, he's uh, masterminding the attack on him. Donald Trump's full of it. Uh, it's simple as that. Uh, and the reality is, is this guy's uh, in a bad spot. It's a win to only owe $175 million. Whew. I've got to tell you, I think Donald Trump's in deep trouble. Should he not be elected president of the United States, he will spend the rest of his life in court fighting. So all of these indictments and everything else, is there any way any judge is going to, even if he's convicted, is going to send this man to jail in the middle of his campaign for the White House. Uh, that would I, seem to be disastrous for yeah, the Yeah, I don't States. think he's going to be sentenced to prison. Uh, he may very well be found guilty, but I mean, the reality is he does have 91 counts of felony <laughs> against him. And he does have two civil judgments in the multi-millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. That's the reality. But it's also the reality that he's beating Joe Biden. And he's beating him soundly. And if you had to call it today, Donald Trump's going to be the next president of the United States. I, you know, it is what it is. What do you make of him selling Bibles now <laughs> with I, uh, Lee Greenwood? The, I mean, he's got, got shoes. He's got there. Bibles. I mean, isn't it, isn't it so transparent and laughable of all the things this man's trying to get money out of he's people? raising money Bibles? with his Truth Social stock, too, as well. Yeah. There, there's a good chance that the Constitution of the United States is not going to be in the Pew Bible at church this morning. Uh, but it is in the Trump Bible. <laughs> Independent candidate Robert Kennedy Jr. has picked a running mate. She is Silicon Valley tech entrepreneur Nicole Shanahan. She shares his controversial views, including skepticism of vaccines. Kennedy is running as an independent after being spurned by the Democrat Party. Polls give him virtually no chance of winning, but he could tilt the election in favor of either Donald Trump or Joe Biden. Your thoughts on that and the VP pick, John? I think he hurts Biden. Uh, and I think this choice further hurts Biden, but he's not qualified on the ballot yet. And that's quite a process to get ballot status. And I think he's got one state right now where he's qualified to be on the ballot. So that's what to keep an eye on. Could RFK Jr. get Trump elected? Or do you see well, potentially. Uh, I don't know much about the lady that he picked. Uh, I think he's relatively irrelevant. At least his own family thinks that. I think he ultimately could hurt President Biden. But what Democrat or Independent needs to be reminded of the consequences of the last presidential election and what we saw in the overturning of the court? I don't think people will make that mistake again. Still to come on Hancock and Kelly, our quote of the week, and NBC hires, then stifles a conservative political voice. <laughs>